Let's meet a swimmer from Orange who's had a heck of a first half this year. He graduated Amity High early, started taking college courses, and has been preparing for the U.S. Olympic trials. Channel 3's Mark Robbins has the story of Arsenio Bustos Jr. Arsenio Bustos loves spending time in the pool, loves working on his strokes, loves paddling around with his teammates. The water energizes him. He knew that when he was a boy. And not too long ago, he realized he might have the ability that can lead to special and rare achievements. It was December of my freshman year when I broke my first state record swimming at the Southern Connecticut pool. And that's kind of when I realized that I could, uh, I could be a pretty good swimmer. Of course, with success comes expectation of greater achievements. And that means establishing an attitude of commitment to one's craft. I definitely had a good idea of how much I'd have to dedicate to the sport just because it's, it's a brutal sport. It's really it's not a very forgiving sport either. So I knew how much work I'd have to put into it and I've, I've been holding up pretty well. So He's utterly brilliant at, at feeling what he's doing in the water. Um, he is a huge fan of the sport. He just loves swimming and, and you know his dad will tell me that one of the biggest problems at home after practice he gets on the internet and he starts watching the world-class swimmers do videos and he tries to pick up on what they do. Arsenio's dominating high school years at Amity and with the Woodbridge Aquatic Club have earned him a scholarship to North Carolina State. When I got on deck and when I walked on campus, I felt like I've already been there. It just felt like my home right when I, right when I stepped down. So, I don't know, it just felt like the best fit. But before he heads down to Raleigh, there's that trip to Omaha in June for the Olympic trials. While his senior classmates are still finishing up in school, Arsenio is traveling, swimming side by side, beating many of the older, more experienced swimmers in meets like the International Senior Cup in Florida. Bustos has looked like he might be gaining on Dressel a little bit there. Holy cow. Bustos is making a run at Dressel. This would be a fascinating finish. Where Arsenio finished third to former Olympic gold medalists Ryan Lochte and Caleb Dressel. When I'm behind the block, I was really just trying to calm myself down because the only person I could talk to is myself. So I was trying to make myself, like, just calm myself down, just take myself back to earth. And I don't really remember much of the race, kind of like blanked out during it. But I remember just wanting to beat Caleb Dressel the entire time. So that was just all I was thinking about. He's at his best when he is chasing. Uh, uh, the established, the, the greats of today's swimming world. Uh, all of those performances have been ju just utterly wonderful things to watch. And, and, and that, I think, goes for a lot of good athletes. They, they, they like to test themselves against the best. Keep in mind, he's only 18 years old and he's up against 24, 25, 26-year-olds. He cuts through the water with power, yet it's his graceful movements that are equally helpful in propelling him in the lane. And at the end of each lane is the goal of making the U.S. Olympic team, representing his country, fulfilling his dreams and aspirations. Obviously, that's everyone's ultimate goal, but we're not going to know until we get there. So I'm just kind of just kind of grinding until then. Let's just see what I can go. Arsenio Bustos isn't a high school swimmer anymore. His talent and strength have this 18-year-old fighting for international recognition. In Woodridge, Mark Robbins, Channel 3 Eyewitness Sports.